better. Oh dear, look at that gunch. Welcome folks, it's Nick here. It's the start of day 11 for us, and that's route 09. Picked up the route at the fuel stop. And we stayed at a hotel 12 miles out of Bittyford last night. And a really nice hotel it is too. I hadn't downloaded this route to the Garmin before I left home, but I downloaded it this morning onto the Garmin, and I think some of the settings have changed, because if you can see the route there, it's just a straight line, like a direct route. It knows we're on some sort of road but it's missed out some of the track so I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong there but anyway and just a general note I think when I downloaded the routes it probably recalculated them in base camp when I loaded them onto the Garmin via base camp through my route app I think I must have had some settings set so that it made me travel all those tiny little roads. Just looks odd that Garmin. <laughs> Withy pool. Drive to coffee stop. 300 yards. Tea rooms up here. Just stop for a really nice lunch at Widdy Pool. These tea rooms. Got here just too late really for breakfast baps, but they said, oh no, I'm looking at the pool, which is very nice. And we'll go breakfast back. Unfortunately, the photograph I took was after the event. I like the. Countryside's looking nice and green, isn't it? Guess with all the rain, it helps. These are the tar steps. They don't know how long the, the slabs have been down and they have blown or been forced away a couple of times but it's an ancient path across this river I dare not show you the state of my poor bike affectionately known as Mad Max um, to give it quite a good wipe down yesterday at the hotel and not you particularly notice it because as soon as you started off again the muck kicked up and because there's so much runoff at the moment the roads are just covered in muck much the same applies I think to back of my jacket which is the oversuit anyway I'll see if I can find a uh, 
jet wash type place and just put it on a very fine from long distance away and give it a bit of a, a wash down but then the luggage could do with a wash down too because that's filthy anyway waffle waffle look at this this is lovely I think I'm going to come down here again another time when the weather is a bit more conducive and try this again because the last few routes in particular have been lovely around the west country and it's not somewhere I've particularly explored before and not somewhere you particularly want to explore in a car because the narrow roads would be forever getting stuck with oncoming traffic or traffic stuck, and stuck behind horses etc anyway stop saying anyway nevertheless on we go Woohoo! Just a little bit wet again. Can't say we're not having a varied day. Hold on. This is deja vu. We're back on Dartmoor. I'm sure that's stunning down there. <laughs> We have a photo stop in two and a half miles. I don't know how successful that will be, but it could have cleared by then or around the next bend or over the next hill. Well, this is where, if it was indeed Nick Carthy who wrote those routes, stopped for a photo opportunity <laughs> somewhere. It's just cancer, you never know. Oh, yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? Oh. Not quite the photo stop opportunity. But, let's use our imaginations. Another pretty little village. That is so picturesque, that little place. What's a big place, I guess. A bridge. It's an old bridge. Oh, that's lovely. These roots from the West Country, absolutely gorgeous. Even better when you can see stuff. We're only about a mile away from a little village I just stopped at. One with a little bridge and uh, 
we've climbed just a tad and we're back into the mist there's a photo opportunity in 0.9 of a mile Countess Bree Hill but again I don't think we'll see much oh wow even in the mist Rather lovely. Well, that's just quite spectacular. and have a little look around, I think. In this town hall. just outside Lynmouth. Well, one of us has to move. You take your time. No, 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 I insist. Only move when you're ready to. If a drop down the side there, let's not do that. Ooh. Pay attention. Got to go on this muck. She's got the right hand side. It's oh dear, have to. Oh. Nowhere to stop for coffee, but I've got a couple of bottles of water in my tank bag, so I'm surviving on those. Nice and clear from here, though. We have some good views perched right on the edge like that. This is Mortaho, Mortaho. Water. 
the dots. Is that rain or sea mist? Films like rain. Dico device doing something down there. Well, here we are then. Look at the state of it. Oh, Max, filthy. I'm going to give it a bit of a light jet wash. Be mindful of these things because they uh, don't want it too powerful. So I'll use bubbles and stand from a distance. Better? Oh dear, look at that gunch. Restaurant. The bar is beyond there. Check in and then main parking is up there. Oh, it's lovely. Well, that's the end of our day 11. The My Route app, Route 09, a circuit of Exmoor. Or round trip of Exmoor and we did about 140 miles in total about 120 of that is the actual route and then the rest is me getting to the start point and etc bit of a long day in the saddle today had some nice stops along the way the weather though I don't want to harp on about the weather but it made it very difficult to fully appreciate the scenery. Every now and again the mist would lift or the rain would stop dri driving and the drizzle would stop, the clouds would move a little bit and you could really appreciate it. You drive up one valley, complete, couldn't see a thing, drive down the other side and up the other bit and it was lovely, very very odd. I will have to come back and do this west portion again at some stage because the roads would be so more enjoyable as well. The whole ride would be better. But that's for uh, the future. Anyway, I'm going to use the, some of the facilities in the room. I've got a macaroni cheese, got some veggies. I'm gonna stick those in the microwave. They've provided filter coffee sachets and a filter coffee machine. So I'm gonna have one of those. Pack up, get it ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day, uh, day 12. Um, route 10 from the My Route app, which is Biddeford, which is roughly where we are now, to Marlborough via Cheddar Gorge. And then once I get to Marlborough, I'm going to scoot straight home, I think. Anyway, more of that tomorrow. All that leaves me to do is say bye for now. <laughs>